Hello and welcome to our introduction to how we made our mini movie for our Middle Earth Monday cat adventure. We hope that it will help you uh, make your own movies for the Dash Kitten Challenge. Uh, the first thing we did was have an idea of how the movie was going to progress, what the plan, the story was going to be. Now, we know that Miranda is a big climber of trees, so we had a rough idea already plotted out on a storyboard similar to this one. This is our movie storyboard printable for the US letter size, and it has nine spaces which will allow you to at least make a start on getting your ideas down on paper, just so you've got something to refer to if you feel you're losing focus on your movie. We made our movie on an iPhone 6, using it in the horizontal orientation, which gives you the wider format. If you held it upright like a picture, a portrait, your range of vision, your field of vision would be much narrower. We put together a little series of shots here. We've got seven shots in all, not a great number you might think, but enough for us to make a decent small movie. You can see the movie actually on the screen when it's in preview mode, but we have loaded them all into iMovie. Windows movie making, movie editing software, will have a similar sort of layout, somewhere to put your clips, somewhere to build your movie. You will also be able to add transitions, which are soft dissolves between one shot and another, certain fancy tricks that you can do. Just remember to keep your fancy tricks to a minimum uh, so they don't get in the way of your story. Now, on our story, we wanted to start with Miranda, and we did eventually use this footage here for the beginning and the end. And so we added some here and we added it here. So you can see where Miranda actually came safely down from her tree adventure. Cut your clips or trim your clips because cutting is from the time when they actually had real celluloid that they used to edit and stick together, you will be able to adjust how much you use of each clip. You won't need to use everything. The focus of your clip will be the part that tells your story. Even if it's a dog walking down the street, you don't want the whole walk, just the bit with the interesting action in it. Your clips should be round about three or four seconds in length. This allows you to keep your story well paced. And of course, we totally ignore that advice because our last clip where Miranda is coming down from the tree is actually 14 seconds long. Once we've got our series of clips, as you can see here along the bottom, you can add your text, you can add your music, and remember that a lot of people don't actually listen to video with the sound on, so you need to add some element of storytelling. You can put everything together here at the bottom. And remember, if you use music, to use music from a royalty-free source like Incompetech.com or from a site like Envato.com or Creative Market. All of these do licensed music through either things like Creative Commons or an official paid-for license that allows you to use the music. And Vato does a very clear, very straightforward license. So it's nothing scary actually buying and using a piece of music. Don't forget to run your spell checker or ask somebody to look at your movie before you upload it to YouTube or Vimeo. Otherwise, you may end up uploading it several times as you find several typing errors. Okay, guys?